helps people at the first stage of the coffee production chain. So I think as economies grow, lifestyle businesses around cafes and coffees increase. But it's very important as that, as that happens to make sure that we don't forget people at the very first stage of uh, the supply chain, and in this case that's coffee growers. So I'm very pleased that the Prisma program, which is run by the Australian Government, has been so successful in helping with both yield and quality, so the amount of coffee that is produced and the quality of it. And the most important element, of course, is that incomes for farmers are rising. So incomes for farmers, farmers have risen about 40% under this program. Can I do that in, in Bahasa? Can you do translations? No? Yeah, I... I can translate later. Okay. So I think Indonesia has a big advantage in the world of coffee, which is very competitive. And that big advantage is it has many varieties. Uh, very important in producing coffee, so you keep your yield up, how much you produce, you look at the quality, but also the different regions gives an Indonesia an advantage in two ways. First of all, it means your single origin coffees, that is coffees that come from only one place, are very interesting, it makes them very marketable. And the second is over time, you can blend the coffees, take coffees from two regions and try and combine them to bring out the best of both regions. And that's a big advantage, having a variety of coffees that you can use uh, in terms of selling them a single origin from the one place or combine together a, a joint roast. The program is obviously the benefiting Indonesia and farmers, but how is it uh, giving benefit to those really? Well, it's very important to Australia that uh, Indonesia is, uh, su is successful in everything it does. So I think that Indonesia and Australia have a very strong economic partnership that we're developing. Uh, sometimes we learn from Indonesia, sometimes Indonesia learns from us, and sometimes we work together. And I think this, is, this, this program is a good example of that, where I think if uh, we can improve the incomes of uh, farmers, that will benefit Indonesia more generally, and that will also benefit Australia, because there's nothing more important to us than a, you know, a, a stable and prosperous Indonesia. Currently, is Australia also one of the importers of uh, Indonesian coffee? There are, there are. In, 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 it's very interesting. In Australia, there is growing interest in Indonesian coffee. Uh, there's a number of roasters that are roasting their coffee and sending it to Australia. But there are also a number of roasters in Australia who are bringing in the coffee themselves, fresh coffee from Indonesia, and roasting it uh, in, in uh, Victoria, in Melbourne, in Geelong, which Victoria, probably the, among the best coffee in, in Australia, is very common now to find Indonesian coffee and it's spreading to the Sydney, Brisbane and Perth. So I think uh, a big future in Australia for Indonesian coffee. But important for exporters to look broadly too. Uh, Australians drink a lot of coffee, but so does the rest of the world. So I think it's important that Indonesia looks very broadly in terms of its exports. This kind of program, do you do it also in other countries other than Indonesia? Uh, look, we're experimenting in Indonesia with a number of program forms. Uh, the PRISPA program, our agricultural program, uh, works with the private sector, works through both uh, government and the private sector to increase yield, uh, yield quality and income. And if that works here, we'll uh, use it as a, as a model in other places. We have a Melbourne coffee counter is one of the best in the world. And some Indonesian coffee shop uh, benchmarking to Melbourne coffee counter. Uh, what do you think about the competitive Indonesian coffee? Well, look, I think there's a couple of things to say about that. The first is that coffee in Australia has changed immensely in the last 20 years. So in the big, in the major cities now, uh, if, uh, it's impossible to get a bad cup of coffee. You have to look very hard to find a bad cup of coffee. And it's, it's uh, spreading more around Australia too. So very true, I think Melbourne was probably the epicenter at one point of the, Melbourne co of the Australian coffee scene, but now found much more broadly around Australia. And I think you see that influence in Indonesia where there are many Australian alumni, including the Anamali, which has been a great, a fantastic coffee chain, uh, uh, Australian connections out of Melbourne, but out of other cities as well. So I think there are many advantages to the coffee connection. Um, the first is business. Um, the second is uh, something something else in common in uh, the culture. Australians love coffee, Indonesians love coffee, and it's an enduring connection. I think. We should care about the well-being of the uh, farmers. Yes, that's what, I, that's, what, yeah, that's what I said at the beginning, that it's very important that 
in terms of looking at uh, the, the, the supply chain, that we don't forget farmers at uh, the beginning of the supply chain. Uh, we're pleased that the incomes of farmers have risen 40%, um, and I think that's why this program's important, and frankly one of the most important elements of the coffee industry for me is the farmers at the, uh, at the front end. Which one Indonesian coffee do you like? Oh, that's a very controversial question. <laughs> it's a very controversial. So let me answer it this way. Uh, the coffee I have in the morning is Taraja coffee. Oh yes. So I always grind my own Taraja, <laughs> my, my own Taraja coffee. But I've just uh, discovered two coffees that I haven't had much of before. One is from Chiwede, which I had in Chiribon earlier in the week. And the other one is, which I've just had here at Anamali, is Gunung Palu, which is, uh, was very nice too. The, 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 the difficulty for me is I like them all. So I've tried Sumatran <laughs> coffee, which I think uh, uh, the, the, I've had co coffee in Medan, which was much fruitier than I expected. Uh, Java has uh, a big variety of uh, coffees, and of course, when you go to the east, it becomes uh, very spicy, very early. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.